Okay, so here is finally the function and its derivative. So in red, you can see that the sketch I drew was actually, it wasn't that bad. And, and you can also clearly see that there is a minimum when x is zero. So when the second derivative was equal to zero, the first derivative had a horizontal tangent line. And, and it turns out that in this case, it was an actual minimum, which means the first derivative switched from decreasing to increasing. And of course, the concavity, that means the concavity switched from concave down to concave up. And so now we have some a, a special point that we can name, and it's called an inflection point. This point on the graph is exactly where the concavity switched. When x is 0, the concavity switched. So that's called an inflection point. And I'm just going to write IP for now, an IP. Or maybe you can think of it as a PIP, a point of inflection. I believe I had a calculus teacher who called it that. Anyways, this is, is just, it's just more terminology. It's called an inflection point. Where, where does it happen? When the, when the second derivative is equal to 0. And, and that's because this, when the second derivative is equal to 0, that's a critical number of the first derivative. And, and that's where the first derivative is going to switch from decreasing to increasing or, or vice versa, from increasing to decreasing. And when that happens, the concavity switches. So, so to, to summarize everything I just said all at once, the concavity switches at inflection points which happen when the second derivative is equal to zero. And hopefully from this discussion you understand why. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.